In this Debaco University video, we're going to go over the terpene karyophylline in more detail. All right, let's get into the terpene guide to karyophylline. And what we see in the image here is some black pepper, because that's kind of what represents this particular terpene. So when we're looking at the scent location and general properties of uh, this particular terpene, it has a spicy, peppery, woody kind of scent to it. That's why we had the black pepper image at the beginning. Uh, foods that it contains, obviously, black pepper, rosemary, oregano, cloves, and other uh, dark leafy green herbal plants. You'll find karyophylline in lavender, black pepper, and cinnamon leaves as well. Karyophylline will selectively bind to CB2 receptors, which are actually found outside of the brain and other parts of the body, resulting in possible classification as a cannabinoid, so kind of an interesting um, tidbit there as far as how this might be classified in the future, but currently it is classified as a terpene, uh, simply because it's not a psychoactive component of cannabis, so that's probably what's causing it to fall into the terpene category. Now, the medical benefits of this particular uh, terpene is that it does bind to also CB3 receptors. It can be highly useful for inflammatory uh, disorders, such as arthritis, multiple sclerosis, and chronic pain. Karyophylline can also be beneficial for treating anxiety and depression without the overwhelming mental effects found from THC. Now, if you're looking for what strains that might have a little bit higher uh, of this particular terpene, here is some general information uh, provided. Uh, along with kind of the structure and uh, some other uh, general information. But again, these are just some to initially start looking at as far as strains go. I'm sure there's many others. Uh, also kind of a little summary slide here. And if you liked this video, we have other ones uh, on other various other terpenes here on Debaco University.